Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, many people in interested in using AMD GPU on Windows to run Focus. Previously, there was some issue in the code base, so it was not able to use DirectML to run Focus using AMD GPU. Recently, I think uh, thanks to the awesome contributors, it is now able to use Director ML to run AMD GPU. So in this video, I want to go over the installation and also do a live run using Focus. So as usual, my GPU is AMD 6700 XT. So as I show you right here, so it has 12 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory VRAM. So it will be used. One thing I want to mention is that you do need to have a bigger memory, the RAM. So in this case, I have 20, have 32 gigabytes. So usually in this machine, I have like a 16 gigabytes. However, it was really slow, so I changed it to 32, and it was able to run focus kind of fine. So I suggest that if you have at least 32 gigabytes of RAM, that will be best to try it. Okay, so, and for CPU side, you do, do not need to have a really powerful CPU. So in my case, I have like a, a very relatively low-end CPU. So that should be okay. All right. So, so um, so so for the installation side, one thing you, you do need to, you can try to follow the installation in the GitHub repo. So if you go to the AMD GPU Windows side, you can try to follow this one. I think that should also work. For me, I like to install it like manually. So I usually use a Python virtual environment to do that. So so in, in my case, I usually like a git clone the repository and then I will do the for example, here, you would usually need to create a Python virtual environment and specify the Python version. Yeah, and you will just create the environment. All right. So after that, you can activate it. So, so the first thing after you get a clone the repository, you get a clone this repository. Yeah, and, uh, and then you will uh, need to go into that. Right. So for me, since I already did that, I will just go to my local repository. All right, so once you go into the focus, you can install the direct ML. So what you're gonna need to do is you install it first. And then after that, you can install the requirements. All right, so so after that, I think you, you should have everything all set. 
And uh, to start the focus, you're gonna need to do is to to use this command line. Python start it and the press enter. So so this way it will start the program. So first thing, if you don't have the the model file, it will need to download that. So it is a big file, it's about 6.6 uh, .6 gigabytes of uh, s s volume. So so make sure that uh, you have a good uh, internet connection. So so I will show you here. So checkpoints. So this one will be downloaded. It's about uh, 6.9 gigabytes, this file. So let's uh, kick off the process, press enter. Yeah, I will also show my uh, like a usage of RAM on the GPU. Okay, so the program started the, uh, okay, yeah, and uh, let me, let me open the browser, so it's like here. So I think uh, one thing I want to mention is that even though here it just says the total VRAM is only one gigabyte, that's fine. So I think it's something related to the direct ML. So direct ML thinks that uh, there's only one gigabyte of VRAM, but uh, as you will see later, so all the GPU we we run the twelve gigabytes will be used. So so don't worry about that. So I was a little worried, but then I found that uh, it doesn't matter. So okay, so let's uh, give it a quick uh, try. So one thing I want to also mention is that you you can click the advanced and. Uh, you can do a normal speed, it's 20 steps, but uh, to be honest, 6700 uh, XT, it's kind of a little slow, like for 20 steps. So I would recommend that you choose the extreme speed. So this way it will use the LCM logger to speed up. So it will only need uh, about five or eight steps to do that. So. Like for my demo purpose, I will use the extreme speed, and I I also use uh, um, some dimension. You can also use some lower dimension. I will use this one. Yeah, so I will use uh, only one image. All right. So so I think the others can leave them as default. So so all right. So let's. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, get it going. I will have my file here and the press generate. Yeah, let's look at what's going on here. All right, we see the progress bar. It uh, looks good. So it uh, need about uh, eight steps. Talk about uh, around a uh, half minute. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think that's uh, a very fast, but I think it's uh, like uh, doable, right? So I. I don't think it's just. Uh, too bad and also not uh, really too good, right? So, but uh, I think it's really a good uh, start that uh, since uh, the repository has enabled the uh, AMD GPU users to use it on Windows. I think that's a really good start. We can expect it to be faster in future. Okay, so at the meantime, I think uh, I really recommend that you use uh, 
Linux. So I think uh, you can use uh, the Rock M. You use the AMD software stack on Linux. So that can give you some speed up. So if you are interested, please uh, check out my other videos. I do have some of those demos there. I will add the link to the description. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy my video. I'm very, really very, very excited because this, I tried this this morning and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope you are excited too. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Goodbye. See you next time.